What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Zone Productions. So, in my last video, um, we kind of talked about editing vocals and went through all the effects that I would normally use to sort of get a vocal in mix. And I'm I apologize for the background sound. They're doing some construction stuff outside, and it's like super hot, so I had to leave the window open. Anyways, in the video, we kind of went over all the effects like compression. EQ and de and also Studio Reverb, as always. Um, by the way, if you haven't checked out that video, I definitely recommend it. I think um, that it's definitely a very important video to watch to learn about what all the effects does and how each of the effects can affect your singing. Today, we're focusing on the compression part, and the reason for that is because the last song that me and my friend recorded um, didn't have a lot of dynamics to it, so it was kind of a bad example for what compression actually does. This song that I'm going to be editing, Slow Dance in the Dark, I already, I already mixed this, has a lot of dynamics, meaning that there's a lot of quiet parts and a lot of loud parts, especially from the transition between the verse and the chorus. So if I go ahead and play this with all the effects combined, so you, you, you can see in the graph how um, the quiet parts are very quiet and the loud parts gets really loud so when we play this back with it fully compressed it doesn't sound bad so I'm gonna play the loud I'm gonna start with the quiet part no more signs. can you can you give me reasons we should be complete you should be with him I can't compete you looked at me like I was someone else Oh well, can't you see? I don't wanna slow dance in the dark So that's the first part, and here it gets even louder in during the second chorus I don't wanna But you realize that the volume sounds pretty consistent between the quiet parts and the loud part There's not like a huge change in volume where I will have to adjust the volume. And that's where compression takes in. If I remove uh, the compression, I also have compression in the um, in instrument here, but I'm just gonna ignore that. So let's just remove the compression just for the vocals. That's what we're focusing on today. So if we listen to the small, the quiet part, it sounds fine. Used to be the one who held you when you fall. Yeah, it sounds like normal. But as it gets louder, your tone. what is this on top? I don't want to go home. Can you give me one night? Can you? All right, here we go. Give me reasons we can already hear that it's complete. very loud. You should be with him, I can't compete. And it just you gets looked at me yeah, like it, it already I was clipped. someone else. Oh well, can't you see? I don't want to slow dance in the Yeah, you definitely don't want um, your audience to have to hear this. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove this effect so I can have a clean um, effect to work with. Now, in the last video, I went in and um, I applied a compression via the, um, the effects over here. I find that to work in certain situations, but not all situations. And here's why. Um, in a case where we were editing a song that didn't have that many dynamics, we might not have to make that many changes to the compression. So we apply it once, it's all good, we leave it alone, we don't have to worry about it again. In this case, because it's so loud, we have to be able to have a way of edit of changing the effect. So I think it's much better to go in here and add the um, add the single single band compressor here. But the issue is you don't know what how, wh where to set the threshold as a result. So you would so I would suggest going back in here and looking at the quietest part. And it's around negative thirty six, but here it goes to negative thirty. So I'll give it negative thirty as my um, threshold. So press negative thirty here. Now, for your ratio, anywhere between 1 and 5. Now, I know I said 
five i said i said it to five last time that was because not that much compression juice if you're using this much compression when it gets this loud i suggest going for a lower value like four or else it will sound a little bit unnatural now last time i didn't really talk about what the attack is the attack uh is how fast it reacts to the volume if you have some noise that's loud but it's not that loud it's not loud to the point where it's clipping without compression then you might be able to make the attack slower so it's attacks is slower so i'll show you sorry i'll show you what um it sounds like so let's start with like something like 300. I don't want to slow dance in. I don't want to slow dance in the dark. So it still does the compression, but 300 milliseconds is a lot of time, and it's not that much time to react, so it still clips. Now let's go to something like zero. I don't want to slow dance in the dark. So in this case, a lower attack speed would be better. When do you need a higher attack speed? Um, usually when your vocals like i mentioned before your vocals are not this loud to the point where you need to apply the compression this quickly because this gets so much louder during the chorus i need to apply a lot of compression and i need to act it fast or else i'm going to get a clipped audio clip and you definitely don't want that and with the release and output gain you can pretty much adjust this to neutral now the output gain helps because um when you're applying compression you're basically lowering the loudest part so everything becomes quieter. The output game allows you to make it louder to compensate for that. But I typically just add this to zero because I already have an effect called amplify. But if if I don't want to have that effect, if I want to have one less effect in my effects rack so it gets less confusing, I can just apply the amplification here, turn off amplify, and it should sound relatively the same. I don't want to slow dance in the dark. So that's about it. Single band compressor in Adobe Audition is extremely straightforward. You set your threshold, which anything louder than this threshold, again, will get affected, like we said in the last video. It really shows how much you want it affected by. If basically saying the louder the volume gets, the more the more times it's going to reduce the volume to go below that threshold so if you set it by 30 times that means it's going to get 30 times quieter when it passes through a threshold which is a lot and the louder it gets the more compression has been done one to five is usually the neutral states you don't want any more or else it will sound very unlike very unrealistic you don't want any less because then you won't hear the effect at all. And then the attack is the speed of how fast you want the compression to take place. And in this case, again, because the volume is loud, because the chorus is so much louder than the verse, we need to have it a very fast attack speed. So let's just listen to this again without and with the new compression that we added in. Give me reasons we should be complete. You should be with him, I can't compete. You looked at me like I was someone else Oh well, can't you see? I don't wanna slow dance in the dark See, it sounds so nice, it sounds so natural Let's listen to the very quiet parts of the song I don't mess with your tone I don't, I don't need to make the volume louder or quieter It just fits in there it the volume is perfect even doing the loudest part without compression again the quiet part will sound perfectly fine like it was before well it will be quieter because i don't have the um i don't have the output game louder so i'll, I'll turn on the amplify amplification to compensate for that when you fall i don't mess with your tone I don't want to go home. And let's go to the loudest part. Well, can't you see? And let's turn off amplification. Turn on single band compressor. And yeah, it just makes everything sound nice. So that's basically what compression is. It is one effect that it doesn't really change how it sounds vocally. It doesn't really change the frequencies. It doesn't change the room essence but it makes the volume even out and it it evens out the volume so that uh, when you're playing this back it will sound smooth 
Um, there are other effects, obviously, like parametric equalizer and de-esser and studio reverb. studio reverb. That's not part of this tutorial. This tutorial focuses on single band compressor. Again, if you haven't watched my last tutorial on uh, sort of all these effects and how to apply them and how each one of them work, uh, then you, I would definitely recommend you watching that video if you're new to editing like this. But this video is sort of like giving you guys a better example of where compression is really used because the last video wasn't really a good example for that. Anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Um, if this tutorial helped you, please like and uh, comments down below what your thoughts on this video. If this video sucked, give it a dislike and uh, tell me how I can do better in the next video. So yeah, that's about it. Have fun recording.